Greetings to our friends of the Ann Sullivan family, and thanks for this opportunity in 2008 to say hello on the 29th anniversary of the founding of Centro Ann Sullivan del Peru, CASP. We've come a long way from serving eight students with different abilities and their families in the garage of the home of Liliana Mayo's parents to this three-story building for which we owe thanks to the Holland Charitable Lottery, Vincent and Mary Spader and their family, and others who have supported the dreams of CASP. Currently, we educate more than 400 people with different abilities and their families, and 60% of their tuition is being paid by friends like you. Without such scholarships, we could not educate so many families in Peru who desperately seek the services of CASP, but are unable to pay the cost. There are also 10 programs in different parts of the world following the CASP model to teach their students and families and thus extending help to thousands. This is possible because of our dedicated staff of 70 people, plus, of course, Montana and Lucas, two service dogs, donated by Cares of Kansas to work with the students. Our motto is, together making possible the impossible is a dream started by Dr. Mayo in 1979. In 1981, Dr. Judith LeBlanc, our main consultant from the University of Kansas, came to help us make this dream come true. For 27 years, she has been our master teacher who continually teaches us new ways to be successful with our students so all can achieve their dreams. Across the years, an additional 20 international consultants have come to Lima to teach and to consult with us. We also have agreements to participate in joint projects with the University of Kansas, the University of Georgia, and the University of Illinois in Chicago. We provide education for students from birth through adulthood with the objective of teaching them to be independent, productive, and thus happy throughout life. The educational programs of CASP that are implemented in our classrooms and the surrounding community are based on the functional natural curriculum created by Dr. LeBlanc and developed jointly with the staff. Through the years, we have achieved the following. 50 of our students are included in 25 regular schools in Lima. 100 are working in 28 companies. Some for 10 to 12 years in the same jobs in some of Peru's most successful businesses, banks, and governmental offices. This year, IGMA Sports asked our students to be ball assistants, those who clear stray tennis balls from the court, during the Lima Tennis Cup 2008. Many of our student workers financially support their families, pay for medications of their parents, or pay tuition for the college education of their siblings. They are excellent workers, ask for more work when they are finished, don't gossip, and are loyal to the companies who hired them. We are grateful to these companies for opening their doors to our students so they can have real work with real salaries and benefits. Our only problem is that the businesses are asking for more students than we have who are 18 or older and thus can legally work. Sandro was eight years old when he first boarded a public bus alone to return to his home far away from CASP. Before doing this, he had to overcome his fear of dogs. He did so, and when he turned 18, his first job was in Wong. Presently, he works for Alice Sud, a subsidiary of Alcoa, and he financially supports his family. When Julio was five, he entered CASP, then located in the garage of the home of Liliana's parents. He was the first student hired by CASP to work in the offices, and his data entry skills are excellent. He left because he was offered a better paying job at Bordelongier in Lima, and from there he went to Banco de Credito del Peru. Julio dreamed that one day he would run in the Marathon of New York. In 2007, he met Diego Roca, Friday's restaurant executive manager who also dreamed of running the New York Marathon, but with a person with autism. They joined efforts to make their dreams come true and together ran the 2007 New York Marathon. Julio finished in five hours. In 2008, we began teaching English to our students to increase their work skills and provide them more communication opportunities. Thanks to Hewlett Packard, we now have computers so students can use them to further their education and increase their work skills. With the new ANIA project, our students are also beginning to learn about environmental conservation. When Dr. Mayo founded CASP, she also founded the first Peruvian School of Families. She knew that excellent teaching procedures would not be sufficient for preparing our students for success in life. They needed opportunities to learn and practice their skills in their daily lives with their families at home and in the community. 
The CASP School of Families provides continual education for parents and siblings as well as extended family members so they can be the best teachers of their family member with different abilities. We think that this is the only program in the world in which each family, including siblings four years old and older, receives a total of 171 hours of annual training. There are more than three million people with physical and mental limitations in our country, but only 26,000 receive services because of lack of resources and insufficient education for parents and professionals. Thus, CAFS decided to begin educational programs for parents and professionals all over Peru and internationally. Since 1997, we have conducted long-distance education in 17 provinces of Peru. In 2007, CAS began a pilot program thanks to the funding of an investigation we are conducting with the Lifespan Institute at the University of Kansas, the U.S. National Institutes of Health, and Global Campus at the University of Iowa. This is an internet-based educational system using Illuminate Live with which we have thus far trained more than 5,000 professionals and relatives of people with different abilities in 22 cities of Peru and five countries in less than six months. Once again, our motto, together making possible the impossible, is becoming a reality. We conclude by thanking all who have helped and are helping us to make a difference in the lives of family of children with different abilities, including students, their parents, our staff, our committee of ladies, companies, schools, and all friends and colleagues who both financially and with other resources make it possible for us to keep the educational doors open for people with different abilities and their families in Peru. This year we were also focusing on the CAS team who work with passion and dedication, thus making it possible to have a first class program in a third world country that pays fourth class salaries. In 2007, Liliana Mayo received the Orden del Sol del Peru at the rank of commander which is the highest award given by the government to Peruvian citizens. This award and others received in the past would not have been possible were it not for our friends and families who have traveled the road with us. Thus, these awards are also for you. We want to thank you all for being wonderful supporters. If you want to know about CASP, we now have a website in English and we look forward to seeing you at CASP in the future.